MPs in Parliament killed an anti-trans bill by yapping about ferrets to filibuster. Brutal anti-trans politics in England might have met their match in an unlikely opponent. Ferrets, members of Parliament, including some conservatives, filibustered a gender-affirming care ban that would have applied to private clinics in the country pushed by Liz Truss. Sure, yeah. If that works, right? Bill banning puberty blockers 26 to exclude trans people was blocked from being heard after Labour MPs spoke at length on pet names and ferrets. Hey, the Labour Party doing something good? Yeah, I want to hear the ferrets. Give me the ferrets. The Labour Party is not doing good? Oh. Pleased to meet with Mike Bloomberg today to discuss Labour's partnership with business and our plans for mission-driven government. That's so great. Thank you. Isn't it crazy how the Labour Party was once praised by Lenin as being a potential venue for communist uh, agitation in the UK, and now it's objectively to the right of Biden economically? That's awesome. Say about um let us know whether or not ferrets are there purely as a rabies control measure, or is there evidence that there is abuse of ferrets in importing of ferrets? Because it's not something I must say, Mr. Deputy Speaker, that I have a, a wide range of knowledge on. And so I'd be interested to know if there- Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves says Labour will embrace Thatcher's economic policies. Saying Thatcher delivered a decade of national renewal, Reeves says Labour will deliver wide-ranging supply-side reform. Oh my god. Vosh, this is click -it. Yeah, is this real? It's just like text in a thingy. Does this link to an article? Source. From the Telegraph, which is reliable. It's real. Stats for lefties is a really good account. How could it be? Leftists famously don't understand statistics. In the speech, she also go she goes on to say that Thatcher was wrong. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm so tired that I'm actually having trouble focusing my eyes enough to read this text. I could either do like, like this, or like, mm, this is the uh, text of the speech. Oh... Okay. Having read all of that, my conclusion is vote for Biden. There Ferrets. are similar issues as those that have been raised about dogs and cats when it comes to ferrets. Or is the reason that... Is that normal variable vision based on tiredness? Are you a robot? Are you an alien? What? Can't focus eyes because tired? That's like one of the things that happens. Are in the short title of the bill, simply the disease control, which to my mind is a good enough reason. But um, I wonder if there ought to be further provisions in respect of safety of ferrets that are not set out uh, in the regulations so far that, that have been said. Um, so I'd be interested to hear what the Minister might have to say about that. Well, my Honourable Friend, give way. I will give way, of course. Um, I, I am um, very interested um, about my Honourable Friend's, uh, well, keen uh, mention of ferrets at every opportunity during this debate. And uh, just... I don't know how filibusters work in the UK. I, I have no idea. How do you... Never mind. I'll learn later. A major Tory donor recently said a black Labour MP makes him hate black women and she should be shot. It's been a big drama here. Biggest Tory donor said looking at Diana Abbott makes you want to hate all black women. That's pretty straightforward. You know? I guess I guess you love it when the implicit gets made explicit. I, I, don't, I don't really know how you could spin this, to be honest. Frank, this is the guy. It's always someone like this, isn't it, you know? Pardon me for perpetuating anti-white hatred here, but like he looks like a like a like a beaver, you know? It's so it's always it's always like this, you know? You never scroll down and see a giga chad. You get all the goddamn memes of like, "Oh yeah, man, uh racism? Huh. That's my shit." And the guy has a jaw like a lantern, and then you see what real life racists look like, like Stone Toss or whatever, and they're all Pillsbury, you know. No oh, boy Oi, bruv, Tony Soprano? No, 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 because Tony Soprano had, like, a hardness to him, you know? Tony Soprano was fat, sure, but I'm not just saying fat, you know? Like, the Pillsbury Doughboy isn't just fat. This is I'm sandwich race material here. It's not just about being fat or being white or whatever. It's about being an I'm sandwich. The Conservative Party's biggest donor turd, uh, told colleagues that looking at Dan Abbott makes you want to hate all black women and said the MP should be shot, the Guardian can reveal. Why do the most bigoted people look the least resistant to damage? <laughs> Frank Hester, who's given 10 million pounds the Tories in the past year, said in the meeting that he oops, said in the meaning that he does not hate all black women. Bosch, the UK election cap spending at 33 mil, so 10 mil is really significant. Wait. The UK election prevents the parties from spending more than 33 million pounds over the entire election cycle for all of their advertising work? Or are you talking about like only at the national level, but individual uh, members of parliament can, can run their own 
is which one it is does it account for everything or can individual mps manage their own finances national level okay still too high but base 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 yeah i think that in america the cap for spending should be like whatever you can raise in a single lemonade stand weekend like near a beach you know you should you should both have like a solid 82 dollars and 30 cents to bring to the forefront he also called all his foreign workers together to defend himself against online claims that he had made racist remarks. Why would you do this? He was also given hundreds of millions of pounds in government contracts, by the way. He's not a donor. Well, wait, what's his job? Well, like, what does he do? British businessman, owner and CEO of software company, The Phoenix Partnership. Okay, he's racist. Really? Can you imagine being this wealthy and people online call you racist and you get together all of your brown employees to say like hey guys now you you might have heard rumors online that i am in fact racist and internally every employee there is thinking like jesus christ kill me uh as you you know lay it out during this meeting he said he abhorred racism and told his team their progress would not be based on the color of their skin ethnicity or where your parents are from however he also said quote we take the piss out of the fact that all our chinese girls sit together in asian corner I'm warming up this guy a little bit. I don't know. I think he's a bit of a character is what I think. I, I think he's a goofy little... Can, can, can you imagine, like, like, like an American businessman, like, sweatily trying to explain his commitment to equality before making, like, a, you know, and we don't even mind all our black employees go out to play basketball in the, in the, 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 with the basketball, and no one there plays basketball or whatever. He's just saying shit, you know? Um, just... What a remarkable character. No self-control. It's, tr it's Trump shit. Yeah, it's Trump shit, you know? It's Trump shit. Where he'll be like, ah, I love everyone, you know? I love everyone. I, even, even the Chinese, you know? It's, it's, it's phenomenal stuff. Michael Scott. Everyone loves Michael Scott. You know, he's exactly like Trump. And this guy. Runs a healthcare technology firm. Of course it would be healthcare. Paid more than 400 million pounds by the NHS and other government bodies since 2016. Wow, wonder why that started getting kicked up around 2016, huh? I wonder what, wonder what election, uh, eh, Jesus Christ. It's such a racket, dude. Give a few 10 million pounds to the Tories, they give you half a billion pounds in, uh, government contracts. Good lord. After the publication of the remarks, a statement from TPP said Hester accepts that he was rude about Diane Abbott in a private meeting several years ago, but his criticism had nothing to do with her, had nothing to do with her gender nor color of skin. Really? How do you... How do you sell that one? That's a, that's a tough sell. The statement said Hester abhorred racism, not least because he experienced it as the child of Irish immigrants in the 1970s. Okay, I, I, I smile because it is funny. However, I'm pretty sure that Irish immigrants in the 70s actually would have been treated pretty f badly in the UK, you know? It's not like America where people are like, ah, well, the Irish were slaves. Like, well, no, actually, the, 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 the Irish actually were treated very badly by the British. The statement added, he rang Diane Abbott twice today to try to apologize directly for the hurt he caused her and is deeply sorry for his fault. Imagine being Diane Abbott and seeing in the news that this ultra wealthy Tory donor said that about you. And then you get call calling, you know, you know, Hester <laughs> directly apologized to you or something. Jesus Christ. In an interview last week, Hester praised Rishi Sunak for embracing AI, saying the future is AI and we got a prime minister who gets it. Hmm. Any correlations here? One wonders. The Guardian has learned of a 2019 meeting at TPP's uh, headquarters in which Hester spoke about an executive from another org saying she's shit, she's the shittiest person. Honestly, I try not to be sexist, but when I meet somebody like the executive, I just... It's like trying not to be racist, but you see Diane Abbott on the TV and you're just like, I hate you. You just want to hate all black women because she's there. And I don't hate all black women at all. Oh, he retracted it. I bet the woke media won't cover that. But I think she should be shot. <laughs> the executive and Diane Abbott need to be shot. She's stupid. If we can get the executive being unprofessional, we can get her sacked. It's not as good as her dying. <laughs> it would be much better if she died. She's consuming resource. She's eating food that other people could eat, you know? This guy should be posting. We need to take all of this guy's money away, and we just need to sit him down on Twitter. Jesus Christ. Abbott was a Labour MP for more than 35 years till she was suspended by the party in April last year for su after suggesting that Jewish, Irish, and Traveler people were not subject to racism all their lives. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was a weird one. 
okay, so in actuality, okay, in actuality, he said all that about Diane Abbott because he knew that four years in the future, she would say some weird shit. There we go. She's eating food that I could be eating. Yeah, it's very funny that one of the, like, m most scathing criticisms this guy can think of of a person he wants dead is she's consuming food, presumably, that I could be eating instead. <laughs> That's pretty good. No yawning or fingerprints on doors. The strict rules at Tory donors firm. If you ever want, like, a good argument from a socialist perspective on how autocratically run companies are basically just like tiny fiefdoms, you should show them how any rich person behaves and how they all clearly just want to be feudal lords. Like, seriously, any time you actually examine the behavior of an ultra-wealthy person and see how they run their businesses, it goes far beyond reason. They're all psychopaths. They all, like, every wealthy business owner wants to be wearing some kind of, like, gorgeous, uh, you know, silk cape and sit in a big throne and issue maddening proclamations. I think that in a way, like... They all want to be Mao, because Mao was also kind of like that to an extent, right? With his, with his grand proclamations that were absolutely back shit. I, I just, I think that's just the human beings, when they're given too much power, want a cape and they want to make you do things that don't make sense. That's how they exhibit their power. Because it's not real power if you're making people do things that make sense, right? The real expression of power, the real indication that you have power, is making people do things that are mad and irre like irrational and painful, but they do it anyway. That's the real expression of power. Abbott is a campus, but has experienced more social media abuse than all other MPs combined. I think I've heard that. He's a Bosnian genocide denier, including setting up a pro-Serbian lobbying group. Okay. All right. Big Albania got her uh, thrown out of parliament, kicked from the, uh, the Labour Party. Man, there really are no good allies out there. Yeah, if you ever want to be allies with people who have good economic positions, you also have to accept that, like, 14 genocides done by non-American or Western-backed dictatorships actually didn't happen. And in actuality, you like you you have to accept a Lysenkoism. It's the only way. You know, you can you, you can get progressive politics at the cost of um you, you know like denying sixteen genocides, or you can get progressive economic politics at the cost of Lysenkoist uh, agricultural policy. And that's the only that's all you can get. It was called Labor Friends of Milosevic or something. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. The UK longed for Galloway, and now he's back. Now he's back.